For a start, you can see Muhammad Ali's legacy in practically every boxing gym in this country. Uh, this is a picture of uh, Muhammad Ali training in uh, North Vancouver at the Eagles gym. This was before my time, but it's still talked about to this day. Including at Vancouver's Eastside Boxing Club, where coach Dave Shuck keeps souvenirs of Ali's brief time training in this, this city, like as well that. as his great fights. Two things got guys like me involved in boxing. Uh, that was Rocky and Muhammad Ali first. You know, those are the two things. In the 80s, that was, you know, Ali, you know, was winding down his career in the 80s, but he was still the man. For all these Canadian fans, the highlight moments were two fights against Canadian legend George Chivalo. One in Toronto in 1966, the other a rematch in Vancouver in 72. The Maple Leaf Gardens bout was epic, with Chivalo going 15 rounds and was still on his feet at the end. In the days leading up to his death, Chivalo sent Ali a video message on Facebook. I still think you're one of the best people I've ever met, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And you're loved by everybody. I don't know of anybody else in the world that's loved more than you. And I'm one of those guys who, who love you. It was honor to be named Muhammad Ali, because I'm not white. In 1966, at the height of his fame, Ali sat down with the CBC and talked about some of the controversies that made him an icon beyond his sport, including the decision to change his name. Former Canadian Olympic boxer Manny Sobrell met Ali on several occasions. It was, it was amazing just sitting by the man and uh, taking it in. Sobrell sat next to Ali in Vancouver in 2007 at a screening of a movie about his incredible life. What seems to be the right thing is what Muhammad Ali did and uh, to be able to stand up for your rights and lose three years of your career because of it is an amazing thing. Ali uh, was a praise, pretty amazing human being. Ali may also be remembered as someone who likely should have retired sooner and perhaps been spared the head trauma that so hobbled him in his later years. Oh, come on, boy, boy. Yet for many Canadians, boxers and beyond, his name will always be synonymous with an inspirational force. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.